Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and The Sims are truly getting steamy on Main. We just got a brand new SDX drop, so we're gonna go everything that was included today. An awful lot of it was swimwear, so that's what we're gonna be checking out within Create a Sim. Now, this was obviously teased in the quarterly teaser, which I did speak about in yesterday's video. That is also gonna be linked at the end of this one, just in case you missed it. And of course, we know that we're probably getting a, like pool outdoor patio area themed kit. And they've obviously tied swimwear into that. Now this is actually a pretty big SDX drop, at least for the feminine sims. It does come with a lot of recolors. There's not really too many new assets included, but they've kind of gone back like they did a couple of years ago and just given us updated colors and swatches for a lot of base game assets that we already have. So it says, make a splash with today's free Sims Delivery Express. Obviously, if you just load up your game and you go into your options and you have like the SDX option like turned on for it to just like scan manually, it will then ask you if you want to restart and then the SDX drop will be there actually within your game once you restart it. Dive into new swimsuit swatches, perfect for your hot sim summer. I can't believe they uh, used what I have been using for about four years whilst I've been doing my towny makeovers. I've been calling it a hot sim summer literally all the time, or as I like to say it for my towny makeovers, a hot simp summer because that's what I want to make you all do. Available now in base game. And then they did have this little teaser. Some people are like, oh my God, the romance expansion is definitely going to have like hotels and resorts because this looks like a hotel. It could just be a community swimming pool. We've had pools literally since the update in base game way back. So don't be jumping to any conclusions. This definitely could not be a hotel, nor do I really want hotels. I know sue me but I don't want hotels one so closely to for rent because for rent is still broken and also two in a romance pack like I want romance to be featured on like new romantic interactions new dates new ways of dating new ways of proposing like I want it to be animations and I want it to be realism I don't want a romance pack with hotels because we all know that hotels are just going to be like the main function of it and then it's not really a romance pack is it I'm sorry unpopular opinion it feels but this is the little trailer. So as you can see, uh, there's just a ton of new swimwear options with a ton of new colors. And they have snuck a cheeky little brown in there. They have heard me saying that, that I am on my brown era when it comes to clothes. I just absolutely feckin' love them. Make your move with a stylish update. This kind of roadmap has all been like steamy. It's been romantic. It's been about like kind of showing off your little hot body to whoever may fancy it. And speaking of hot body, so we have uh, Leah here. We have my growing together household. So we are starting off with this bikini. Now uh, this top was actually already within the game. The brown is definitely new. But we have a bikini top. I will say a lot of these correlate to one another. Now this was actually already in the game. This is kind of like a tankini looking top, but you can just use this as like an everyday wear top. It's just they've obviously like correlated all of those swatches. You can kind of tell which were like the old ones and then which ones are the new ones because I feel like the textures on the new ones have kind of been like toned down a little bit whereas the original base game ones are like super shiny. Now this isn't like traditionally swimwear and people were kind of saying like oh I use this as a top and now I'm not going to be able to. You absolutely can like they still all come up in everyday wear like they're not only tagged to swimwear like if you just want to use this as a standard the top you can even if it was just tagged to swimwear you could literally just like exit out of the swimwear tag and still choose to wear it the same goes for all of these like we have this little vest top which obviously had like three or four colors originally and they've just gone through and added all the extra swatches to it then we've got this one which isn't one of my favorite tops this is the eliza pancakes tops i'm fairly sure this is the one that she's wearing this again is just like a regular top that they've also chosen to add as like a little tankini if you want to use it in that way. We did already have this bikini to, uh, you can just tell the base game swatches this lime green. The fact that Dina Caliente, her favorite color is green, obviously, because she likes money. Whenever I see that feckin' neon lime green, I just think of her. I actually really, really like this bikini. I actually think it is very cute. Correct me if I'm wrong, I personally feel like this 
may be new, but if it isn't, forgive me. I think it's gorgeous. I think it looks really, really nice. I love like kind of the gold clip. We have the kind of wider shaped vest top that sits a little differently on the hips. So that other bikini, this one is now plain swatches of this base game one that, that we had. I was thinking like, where are the swirly ones? Cause I swear that's like the silhouette of the swirly pattern that we've had for years. It's now a completely different swatch. So if you were wondering where that one was chilling, it's there. Also figured out that this one is not new, but the plain swatches are new. It's like this wiggly one and the fact that this was the original, which I think this actually got some new swatches at some point. I don't know if they maybe came with this update or if they came at another time. When a base game object has like this many, I'm like, you had to have been recolored at some point. You definitely didn't have this many on launch. And then moving on to bottoms, we obviously have a ton of bottoms that now also match this. You could like use these as underwear as well. I actually really, really like these bikini bottoms. I think they fit really, really well on Sims. Then we have this one, which is like the original. These are the ones that show a little bit, a little bit of the arse crack if you want it to. They are a lot smaller than these ones. These are kind of like hip hugger. Then we have this version, which just has like a little band around it, kind of matches. Again, the colors are really, really cohesive. So you can do a big old mix and match here. These swimming trunks got major recolors overhaul. So there's a ton of different like versions of them now. Weirdly, the new recolor of these swimming trunks are in their own little section. But again, these also match with the bikinis. And then we have these like longer versions of bodies. These might also be a brand new one. I feel like I haven't ever really seen these before. Maybe I just didn't use them all that often. You can also kind of get away with using these as just like sport shorts. Like they don't have to be used as swimming trunks. Unfortunately, the little tighty whitey speedos did not get any recolors, which is a shame because sometimes I feel like I use these literally the most. So if you're looking at these thinking, hmm, None of these swatches really seem new. Just go to the other like second swatch. It must have like got too long for them to add it all onto one swatch. So they just created like another second asset like completely. And say if you wanna create a maybe like swimming costume type look, you can do this. Unfortunately, when it comes to like full body swimming costumes, this one didn't actually get an update, which I definitely would have loved to see more swatches. And then also, the full body like actual swimming costume that we have also didn't get recolors, which I think was a weird choice. I don't know why they didn't update like the only full body ones that we have. I feel like that is absolutely a missed opportunity. I don't know why they just didn't come in and like add the new swatches that we got for like all of the bikinis. These are probably the ones that lack the most amount of colors and like different variations. At least with bikinis, you can kind of match like tops and bottoms with each other and do kind of a mix and match. Whereas these I feel are the ones that were kind of shouting for much needed colors like added to them. And they just unfortunately did not get it. Masculine Sims really didn't get that much. They they got a recolor to this little vest top, match the bikinis that we got. And then when it comes to bottoms, they also got those board shorts that we've kind of already spoken about that just have like the different linings to them. I definitely actually think I'm gonna get a fair bit of use out of these, specifically as like sport shorts as well. I feel like that's a really deep black that we don't get that often. And then obviously the recolors to the shorter ones too. I guess you could also just remove the masculine tag, which they did do on some of the outfits that were shown in the actual video. So you could just have your like masculine Sims wearing these as well if you want to, which also look absolutely fine. Could even have them use some of these as like boxer shorts for sleepwear. Moving on to the kids. I love this little outfit. I absolutely am gonna be using this outfit more than just like swimwear. I think these little like patterned ones are so cute. And then this I'm fairly sure was like a base game just like vest top originally. You now have some void critters thrown on there. And then you also have some uh, kind of patterns, not the vagina pineapple. Also, uh, there is a watermelon on this. I'm gonna leave uh, some links down below, uh, specifically to Operation Olive Branch so that you can continue uh, to donating to uh, verified families within Gaza 
link in the description below. Please do go and support in any which way you can, even if it is just sharing that link to other people. We have the little gnomes, which was introduced as a pattern in the like swimwear kit that we got for adults, but now kids kind of have their own little variants of it. And then you do have the shorts to match it, which again, you can kind of just use these like not as swim shorts. They're really cute for like a little athletic outfit or for swimwear. I do love the introduction of void critters. This is why I want to see more for children. I talk about it all the time, but like themed stuff that just makes it a bit more fun for kids, especially when it comes to like bedroom furniture and stuff of that nature. And then also in the full body, this is originally, why is it not popping up when I remove the masculine tag? We also got a full body swimsuit as well, which is this one right here. I don't know why it didn't work when I removed the masculine tag. You're specifically gonna have to go into the feminine tag for this one. But again, it just kind of matches. I do wish that you could maybe put like the shorts over this as well. I know that means that it would have to be like in the top category, but I think it would be really cute to kind of have like a mix and match. And then I'm fairly sure toddlers pretty much get the same treatment as the kids, which is these little swimming trunks to match and then the little top to go with it. The swimming costume doesn't even come up if you do add the feminine tag. So you actually physically have to change to a feminine body type. And then they do also get the little swimsuit as well. I don't know why the adult females didn't get a swimsuit. Just to let you all know, Blooming Rooms, which is the like plant kit collection. These are the items or some of the items that actually come with it. It is currently free. So it has a discount of 100%. Definitely go and download this for free right now if you don't have it already, if you've been holding off. Definitely go and snatch it up. This is what it comes with. Honestly, some of my favorite assets, I use this, which is like curtains pothos all the time. I also use this hanging pothos all the time. This is a cute little like side table that you can kind of put like potted plants on. I also really like the rubber tree and I also really love this like shelving because it looks like kind of the homemade greenhouses that people get from Ikea. Unfortunately not really any of it is like interactable or usable. You would think that this was maybe a uh, flower arranging table if you do have the Sims 4 seasons. Unfortunately that is not the case so this is all mainly like a decor kit but it's nice just to like fill out your houses especially if you like a lot of like foliage. If you are a plant pet and definitely go pick this up for free. I actually have a full overview of this kit, so I will also link that at the end of this video if you wanna check out in more detail what actually comes with it and what the items actually look like within your game. That is pretty much the latest XDX drop and also the updates about The Sims 4. Honestly, this was just a nice little surprise. It's something game changing. Like honestly, I rarely ever used those base game assets. This is nice for people who do only like play with base game or have limited pack numbers. So I'm never gonna sit here and be like, this is a bad thing and they shouldn't have done this and they wasted time on this because personally, I know if I were just playing with base game and like limited packs, I would actually very much welcome different color swatches to clothes that I've probably used repeatedly over time. I also like the fact that they can now be used as swimwear because it does give you more options for swimwear. And I always think that that's a good thing, especially if you do wanna go a little bit more conservative with the clothing. I know not everyone is for like crop tops all of the time and like bikinis and stuff. I would have loved to see the full body outfits get more recolors. I don't know really why they didn't choose to do that. So that's really the only like downside like feedback that I have. I really, really love the kids stuff, even though obviously it was like very, very minimal in terms of what the adults got or at least feminine tag stuff got. We'll definitely be using the kids stuff, not even just to swimwear, but just like in general. Thank you all so, so much for tuning in. If you haven't checked out my video on the quarterly teaser, like I said, it'll be linked at the end of this one if you want to keep updated. Obviously, when all those packs and all these updates come out, I will be making videos just like this one on everything so that you lot aren't missing anything. Definitely let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this SDX drop. Are you going to be using any of these assets like more than usual? I definitely think I'm going to be using those like shorter swimming trunks. I have been using that base game stuff that they updated like last year or so quite a bit especially for masculine sims. 
I think masculine sims in general are like lacking a lot of basics. So I always think that recolors that come to basics are really, really nice. I personally would definitely love to see uh, more of this within the future, but thank you all so much for tuning in. I definitely have some fun videos planned for the channel. I wanna do a fair little bit of romance now that we're probably looking likely that we're getting a romantic expansion pack. So uh, there's a lot of stuff that I wanna go back to and play with The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 to kind of remind myself there's also wish lists that I want to create so definitely hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you aren't already to be kept up to date with all of the Sims 4 news and also all of those fun little video ideas that are going to be scattered over here on my channel. I appreciate you all and I will speak to you all in my next one. Bye now!